G'day guys, in this video I'm going to take you through the steps of setting up your Culus Cobra bag. That's the core kit, but I'll also cover some of the optional extras that you can get depending on situation in your house where you're going to set it up. It's the world's first modular Cobra bag, so you've got a number of options for the base and everything else just clicks together and you'll be able to upgrade components as well as integrate DIY components. Now, regarding DIY, I'm not going to cover it in this video. You can go to the website culus.com and check out the DIY section. You've got things like making your own base, so you can just buy the top section, including the spring, and make the base to save yourself some money. But in this video, I'm going to cover the core kit and the optional extras that you can get to set it up in your home. Now, the multi-base can be used in four different ways. And the simplest and most effective way is actually screwing it down to a concrete floor or a wooden deck outside. And when I say concrete floor, like a garage floor in, in your garage. So let me show you. Now the second way that this can be set up is with these optional suction cups. So you can get a set of two of these from Culus.com and they simply go onto the sides of it just like that and then you lock them in place on your floor. Now, they work best on painted floor in your garage. Let me show you. Now, they do work on tiles, very smooth tiles, but they can dislodge. If you are using it on tiles, I do recommend leaving them overnight they tend to stick a lot better, but the best is actually a uh, painted floor in the garage. The third way that you can set this up is using an MDF or chipboard like this one. So you just basically screw it to the middle of the board. Now you want a board that's roughly two feet by two feet. That's the ideal size. And you can round the corners if you've got a jigsaw. Now you want to get the thickest board that you can find, so half an inch, something like that, and then screw the, the base to the board. Now there's a dedicated video of how to do that on Culus.com in the DIY section, how to set up your base board. I'll put a link to it in the description below so you can go straight to it. Now the fourth way of using the base is to use it with these stabilizer paddles. And they're made out of a composite fiber material, super stiff, super rigid. And basically, they're meant to be in place of a baseboard. So you can order these as an optional extra and they simply plug into the base just like this. And then you use the screws provided with the base to go in there and basically set them in place. And this is how they look. And basically, you just weigh it down with the Kula sandbags or with weights of your own. But they need to be weighed down quite well. Now, they're not going to be probably as stable as a baseboard, but if you don't want to be making a baseboard or you don't have the time, these are the way to go. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using this baseboard that I made using uh, the white chipboard that I showed you. You know, basically put some electrical tape around the outside to give it a nice look, nice finished look. And also, if I use it on tiles, this um, electrical tape gives it a little bit of grip, so I don't need any um, anything on the back for the grip. So I've got this screwed on with the screws that have been provided with the base. Oh, and there's a video that shows you how to do this. You just got to be real careful when you're screwing them in at the very end, so you don't over screw them. You just use finger pressure to screw that in. So that's ready to go. And the next step is to insert or install the click mast. So this is the bigger of the pipes. This one goes into the base. Now it's a really tight fit. So what you want to do is you want to take the clamp off and then insert the bar with the buttons on the sides. And what that allows you to do is actually to step in over the top and push it down and then twist it so it goes in. Now some of the click masks are actually really tight and I made them tight so that you get a nice tight fit so there's no wobbling at all. And that's really good for a Cobra bag. 
but it can be quite tricky to get it in the first time when you receive it because it's so tight. So what you can use is a screwdriver putting it through the hole and allows you to leverage and by leveraging you basically put it in, press the buttons, push it in and then leverage the screwdriver to turn it and then once it's locked in put the collar on, put the clamp onto the collar and tighten it. Make sure it's nice and tight so that gives you that beautiful tight setup for your base. And then you just weigh it down with a couple of sandbags. Now these Cueless sandbags, I've specifically designed them to be the right side to be the right size so when they're filled they give you the right amount of weight to weigh this down properly. Now if it's not weighed down properly or your platform's too small or it's not sturdy enough that's going to affect the spring, the performance of the spring, it may dampen the spring so you want it to be nice and sturdy, nice and solid. Now next I'm going to show you how to put the spring caps onto the spring. And basically you may need to put a little bit of oil on the inside if they're really tight but essentially you put one on one side the other on the other side and then you twist them in a clockwise direction one against the other so they come to to the end and you'll feel it when it gets to the end and you can also see it when you get when it gets to the end the spring comes to the edge there you should be able to see it you should be able to feel it with your finger once you've got your spring set up with the spring caps, you take your click bars, the two click bars, one goes in one end, just like this. Now it may be a little bit tight to start with um, at first, so you twist it clockwise to allow the spring to get onto the click bar and then move it in place and then just push it forward like this until it locks in. And the same thing with the other end and the other click bar. This now goes into the click mast and it's as simple as that. And then you can adjust the height by going down lower. Now it goes all the way until it hits the spring cap there. Some of the um, holes at the bottom of the uh, click mast are not used in this scenario. They may be used for other purposes it's basically a module that's designed to be used in various other ways. So being a modular system, some of the things are not ready to be used. But essentially your lowest sort of button, um, your lowest hole will be around there. But for kids you can go down, all the way down to until the uh, uh, spring cap just touches the click mast. Now we're ready to set up the ball. Okay and finally the, the ball itself or the Cobra bag itself. This is a genuine leather Cobra bag. It's been hand stitched and made specifically to fit the adapter, the shape of it and everything's been made to that. The opening's big enough to fit it, although the top, the diaphragm part of the adapter is soft. And that allows you to push it in, squeeze it in through this, this gap in there. Now the ball comes uh, laced up and that just kind of shows you how um, is, is a good way to lace, the way to lace it up. Now when you are lacing it up, you can see here you want to try and overlap the two sides so you get maximum strength. If they're a little bit stretched um, during the, the blowing up of the ball, that can cause the stitching around here to come apart. Now I've actually been updating the design. This is the latest design and I'll show you how to lace it up. I'll show you how to insert the um, the adapter into it. Before you go ahead and unlace it, probably a good idea just pump it up and check it. Make sure it holds air while it's still laced up. You'll need a pump like this. Um, you can get one cheaply from Kmart. They're not expensive. So when you insert the pump, just wet the needle, put it through the hole at the top like that, and then pump it up. And there we go. Now you don't want to go overboard, just pump it up enough to see that it's gone up, it's been pumped up, and the laces, as you can see there, are holding nicely. 
So the next thing is to deflate it. Now to deflate it, you'll need to take the pump nozzle off. Just unscrew it. And then use the nozzle. Insert the nozzle at the top of the ball to allow the air to escape. And then just deflate it all the way. Now I've just unlaced it. And inside you may have, in some cases, uh, the newer balls that have this bit of a tongue in there that you just pull it out. It's a leather tongue, just pull it out, pull it back before you insert the adapter. So this needs to sit on the outside of the adapter. And then you take your adapter and you push it in, ensuring that the bladder is sitting on the inside of the adapter there. You can see, you just want to push it in and make sure the tongue is on the outside. So now, a matter of lacing it up, the same way, you've got one lace that goes all the way down and protrudes on one side at the bottom, and then the other lace is the one that you work around and around, going through one hole from the bottom, like that, over the top, to the next hole across on the other side, just like that, and tighten it, and then work underneath to the next hole down on the opposite side, and over the top on the other side, and just keep doing that, and just keep tightening it. Just try and overlap one side over the other side a little bit. And keep working your way down to the bottom. All right, so I've basically um, laced it all the way down until I got to the final um, holes down the bottom. And basically now, I'm just going to push the adapter down and the ball up. And then make sure it's there. And then tie the end. If the lace is quite long, you can put it around the base and then tie it. So I'm just going to tie it the way you would tie a shoelace. I'm not good with tying shoelaces, but you learn every day. So there we go. Now to make it nice and tidy, I actually push the ends of the uh, laces underneath and I tuck them in with the back of a spoon, back of a teaspoon, just tuck them in underneath so that they're out of the way. They're not flopping all over the place when you're punching. And once this is inflated, they'll just stay there. They'll sit there underneath and they won't come out. So that's it. That's ready to be inflated. You want to wet the needle so it stays pumped up longer. And you push it in and start inflating it. So you want to just pump it up like this to about three quarters of the way. And then just double check. Just move it around. Make sure that the bladder is sitting uh, nicely. I like to line up the, uh, the logo there with that logo. You don't have to. I'm just going to make sure those laces are tucked away underneath. And now I'm just going to pump it all the way. Now you don't want to over pump it too much because what can happen is the bladder can move into the gap in the in the adapter and push itself down in there. Now you can put some tape at the bottom of the adapter to stop that from happening. Okay, well that's ready to go. And all you have to do is just put it onto the top click bar. It just clicks on just like that. And then you can move it to whatever position you want. The lower down it goes, the faster it's gonna move. And it's ready to start working out. Well, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you'll be able to set it up nice and quickly. Now, if you've got any questions, put them in the comments below, or if you've got specific questions specific to your auto, your own parts that you've received, go to Culus.com, the contact page, and I'll try and answer your questions. I'll see you guys in the next video.